Hello. Those of you who know me know that I write a lot about being over 40. In fact, I run a blog and a podcast called The 40 and Over Project. I write about our life in our 40s and how far we've come, all the funny anecdotes about being over 40, how our bodies are starting to go and our sight um, is starting to go and all the things that come along with being 40. However, Brianna Taylor will not get to see 40. She will never get to see 40. She will never get to see what it feels like to live life in her 40s because the Louisville Police Department doesn't feel that they need to hold anyone responsible for killing her. You busted up into her apartment. You shot her. Then you turn around and you give her mama $12 million. I'm sorry. In what world does that make sense? Nobody responsible, but you giving away $12 million all willy-nilly like it's water? Are you kidding? Somebody responsible. Daniel Cameron, you need to hold somebody responsible for the death of Breonna Taylor. All of us are susceptible to this. Somebody could break up into my apartment right now as I speak and shoot me down. And you ain't responsible? I'm sorry. So... It was heavy on my heart today because I just realized she was only 20, 20 something years old, 26. I remember when I was 26, I had no idea what was going on, what to do. I was just trying to figure out life. And now that I'm in my forties, I'm still trying to figure some things out. However, I'm a little further along than I was when I was 26. And unfortunately she will never, ever, ever be able to know what it's like to be in her 30s, let alone her 40s. I don't believe she had any children, so she won't have any kids. She won't be able to, I mean, I'm a child-free woman myself, so she won't be able to live child-free and know what that's like if that was her choice. She don't have no more choices to make in life because she is gone. That is terrible, America. That's terrible. So if, you know... You are feeling some kind of way about this. I understand. And those of you who don't understand why are we are so angry and why, and why the people in Louisville are so angry about this, because y'all not taking it seriously. Y'all not understanding why somebody needs to take responsibility for this. Daniel Cameron, those police broke up into her apartment and killed her. So what if her boyfriend shot? He was defending the property that was her apartment. Are you kidding? So I'm sorry, I just had to go on this rant for a moment, but I just started, you know, I live in Kentucky and I watch the news every day. I watch a lot of news, probably too much. I watch CNN over and over. Then I watch local news so I can stay up on what's going on locally. And it's just disturbing me that they can't hold anyone responsible. Now, I'm glad that that grand juror uh, brought up the fact that they need to release some records and and tell, you know, release the um, the transcripts of what's going on in this case, what's really going on, because somebody is being shady. This is one of the shadiest cases I've ever seen in my life. We're not just making this up. So eventually, I hope at some point in time, over the next few months, they will hold someone responsible, because if they think people off the chain now, people are going to be really off the chain, Okay. I lived through uh, the L.A. riots. I was in college during the L.A. riots. Um, in, uh, yeah, L.A. riots, O.J., all of that, all these cases, all these landmark cases where you would think we would be past all this racism. The 1960s, we thought, you know, had done some things. You think you would think we would be past some of this racism, but no, it's 2020. And it's like it's gearing up even more. And Donald Trump is not helping the situation. So the last thing I'll say, speaking of Donald Trump, before I go, is A, God bless to Breonna Taylor's family. I'm praying for them. And I hope we get justice for her. And the second thing, B, you know how we do. Secondly and thirdly, but I only do a second. Secondly, 
please vote. If you're not registered to vote, I know you better hurry the heck up and get registered. Go online. It's real easy. And if you need to go stand in line, make some plans, put it on your calendar, November 3rd. We still in this pandemic, so a whole lot of us still not working. So guess what? You got some time. Go stand in line. You got all day. Go stand in line or send in your absentee ballot before the deadline, before the deadline. I know some of us like to be late with a lot of stuff, but please send it in before the deadline. If you don't think you can do that, just get up early on November 3rd and go stand in line because those lines are going to be long. That's all I have to say and have a great evening. Peace.